Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I am going to be showing you how to check if a password contains ascending sequence of characters or descending sequence of characters. For example, we'll be able to check if a password contains something like A, B, C, D, or E, or E, D, C, B, or A. These are ascending and descending sequences of characters, and we can determine if we want any of these in our passwords. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we're going to define a function, so we're just going to call it def. Is underscore valid underscore password with two parameters, password and max sequence. So this line is defining a function. It's going to take in two arguments, password, which is going to be the password we want to check, and max sequence, which is the maximum length of an ascending or descending sequence that we want to allow in the password. For example, maybe we want to allow people to do one, two, and three. However, if they do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's a bit excessive and quite easy to potentially guess. So you have full control over the maximum sequence. Inside, we're going to do password underscore values equals square bracket ord c for c in password square bracket. So here we're creating a list where each element is the ASCII value of the corresponding character in the password. ASCII values are numbers that each character on your keyboard corresponds to. For example, the ASCII value of A would be 97, B is 98, and so on. We're using list comprehension, which is a quick and compact way of creating a list in Python so we can just shove it all onto one line. Now we're going to do for i in range len password underscore values minus max underscore sequence plus one. This line starts a loop. We're going to look at every substring of the password that has a length of max sequence. Range len password underscore value minus max underscore sequence plus one generates a list of numbers from zero to the length of the password minus the max sequence plus one. Each of these numbers is an index that we're going to use to get a substring of the password. And then in, in the first line of code inside our loop, so then going to be sequence equals password underscore values, i colon i plus max password. Inside this loop, this line is getting the substring of password underscore values that starts at index i and ends at index i plus max sequence. This substring will have a length of max sequence. Then we're going to do an if statement. So bear with me, this is a bit, but we'll break it down. So we're going to do if bracket, and we're doing it this way so we can kind of make it a bit more readable. Sequence double equals list range sequence zero comma sequence zero plus max sequence, or sequence double equals list range sequence zero sequence zero minus max sequence comma minus one. So this line here creates a list of max sequence numbers that starts at sequence zero and increase by one at each step. And if sequence is equal to this list, then sequence is ascending. And then after this or statement here, we're here, we're also creating a list of max sequence numbers that starts at sequence zero. And then we do the opposite and decrease by one at each step. If this sequence here is equal to this list, then the sequence is descending. And we're using the or statement between them because if at least one of these is true, that means the password contains a sequence and therefore is invalid. However, if both of these are false and therefore we don't have a sequence ascending or descending, that's the only outcome where this password doesn't have a sequence of some kind. After that, we then do return false. If the if condition is true, basically meaning there's a sequence either ascending or descending, or potentially both, then this function will immediately return false and stop running because there's no point continuing because we know there's a sequence in ascending or descending order and therefore the password is invalid. Finally, we do a return true after the for statement. So this line is outside of this for loop, so it runs after the loop is finished. If the function hasn't already returned false and stopped running, 
that means that it didn't find any ascent or descending sequences in the password. So we return true to indicate that the password is valid. And that's basically all for this tutorial, so let's put in some sample data and test it out. So, I've got a bunch of print statements, and in each print statement we're doing is underscore valid underscore password, a string to represent the password, and then the number 5. So, we can customize this pass, this max sequence. Basically, a sequence of this or greater will be considered invalid. So if you put in a value of five, that means we can have a sequence of up to four characters. If it's five or higher, it will be considered invalid. And we're gonna use five for all of these because it's just simple to compare, but let's hit play and see what happens. So the first one is true because there isn't, isn't really a sequence. Okay, technically we have a sequence of two because there's obviously two S's next to each other, but that's the closest thing to a sequence we have. The next password's invalid because it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and our maximum sequence is 5. The next one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, the maximum sequence of 5 means this is invalid because a sequence of 5 or higher is invalid, but anything below 5 would be considered valid. 1, 2, 3 in the next password is valid because it's less than 5. Then we have... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. This is valid because while we have loads of sequences, each sequence only goes up to 3. And then we have a descender sequence at the end, 3, 2, 1 as well, and it's still valid. And then the final password is invalid because we have a descending sequence going from 7 down to 1. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.